Today we're going to be talking about artificial difficulty in games. So what is artificial difficulty? It's a cheap way to make things harder. So let's say that we have a fast math game. So if I ask 2 plus 15, 4 times 3... What? Why would you put it upside down? That's not the point of the game. <laughs> if the point is to learn math, why would you put the numbers upside down? That's just artificial difficulty. Next is artificial slowdown in progress. So that can be done with an excessive amount of randomness. So for example, let's say I ask in a side quest for the player to guess a number from 1 to 3. If you get it right, you get to go straight to the goal. But if you don't get it right, no big deal. But in this example here, let's say you're asked to guess a number from 1 to 10,000 correctly. Each time you get it wrong, you just gotta guess again. That's really bad. Why would you have the player waste hours trying to guess a correct number instead of just having them do the required fight. There's no point in doing this. Just waste people's time. So next we have an obscure path forward. You might have seen games back in the day. This is literally impossible without a guidebook, especially before the internet is really that prevalent for games. So you might have heard of Mortal Kombat having something along these lines. So to unlock the secret character here, you gotta set your clock to midnight, name your character Timmy, only eat fruit during the whole game, and perform three punches, and beat every boss exactly seven times, and then you get the extra green hat or whatever. That's literally impossible to figure out without some guide. Even if you did randomly figure that out, then there's no way you'll be able to replicate that. Another way that there's artificial difficulty is requiring skills that people don't necessarily know. If you have some random game and the player has to solve a Rubik's Cube, while if you do know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, then that might be okay. Not everybody knows how. Or how to code. If I ask you to edit the code to make some change, this looks incomprehensible to someone that's never programmed before. So how do we avoid falling into the artificial difficulty pitfall? Well, you can ask, would you play this game? And is this actually any fun? Is it just wasting time? Like, would you come back to that because you actually want to play it some more? Does it match the genre that you're going for? If your game is a platformer, then why are you having them guess numbers just to progress? So watch out for pitfalls, and thanks for watching.